I remember going to a fitting um, for that fashion week and I didn't fit in a pair of pants that they wanted me to wear and they already told me that I booked the show for sure. They pretty much made it seem like they had absolutely no other outfit for me. They made it seem like if, you can't, if you're not wearing those pants you're not in the show. Um, so that was really upsetting for me because I was so excited to be in the show and I was like this is a big show to book, I'm happy with this, this is great. And since I didn't fit in those pants, I, did, I wasn't in the show. I'm so skinny, like how could I not fit in these pants and how are other models around me fitting in these pants? I just didn't really understand. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a really big turning point for me because I realized it is so damn competitive. It's just, it's it really is like a fishbowl and everyone's just like a piranha. Like everyone's after everyone, everyone wants the same thing, everyone is fighting for the exact same spot on the runway or on a photo shoot. And I was kind of happy that I didn't fit in those pants kind of in a way because it taught me to really appreciate the jobs that I did book. So I think that was the biggest frustration was just really having to overlook the criticism that you get and just throw it behind your shoulder and just get on with what you're doing because you can't please everybody. You might fit in one dress, you might not fit in another. It's it's just how it happens. It's how you're built. It's how your body is. How do you feel being a curly haired model? Because I think that's that's a it's an overlooked minority. It's a <laughs> it yeah, it's very it. true. It's a huge thing. Obviously I booked a ton of hair shows and I had fun doing those and that's a great way to start out in the industry but I think that people don't give you enough credit for having long curly hair, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And every, I mean my hair isn't middle parted right now but I would always have to have it middle parted, I would always have to have it blown out straight and I could never show off my curls. Mm -hmm. And I mean, obviously they are a little crazy and whatever, but that I feel like that's like my look. Like that's just part of how I look. Yeah. And if my hair was always straight and just kind of just how everybody else's hair was, it didn't really set me apart at all. And I just had to go with it. The conformity, I think, is like... Unnecessary. Unnecessary, very. Yeah. And it's just what's expected now. And it's just what's always been expected and it's always been there and I think that's a place for reform because if you're unable to really show what you have to bring to the table then you're somewhat limiting yourself. I mean sure maybe my hair looks good straight and it has volume and whatever but I like it like this so I want to wear it like this. Mm -hmm. It's like if you're gonna hire me you yeah. straighten it then. Yeah exactly. You can, I'm sure you can picture me with straight hair, it's not like It's you, in my book. Yeah, it's in my book, you can look at my book. Mm -hmm.